please join with me for prayer of illumination. Please join me with saying the unison prayer for illumination as it is printed in the worship bulletin PDF. Let us pray. Epiphany God, by your Holy Spirit, illuminate for us your living word. We pray, reveal your will for us and fill our hearts in expectation of your promised kingdom. Amen. Picking up where we left off last week, today we hear the second half of the account of Jesus' sermon in the synagogue in Nazareth. After initially approving of what Jesus said, those listening, after not hearing what they wanted or had expected, turn on him questioning his authority and loyalty, and threatened to kill him. This episode reveals the gulf between our expectations of God and God's expectation of us. To help our look at this passage, we will focus on the Corinthian passage's statement about love and how love is to be blind, offered freely, without favour, not as a means to an end. As we prepare to read and listen to God's word, let us be attentive, for God is speaking. The reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verses 21 through 30. Luke 4, 21 to 30. Then he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They said, Is not this Joseph's son? He said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, Doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, Do hear also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did in Capernaum. And he said, Truly, I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the time of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there, were, and there was a severe famine all over the land. Yet Elijah was sent to none of them except to a widow at Zarephath in Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got off, drove him out of town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, as they might hurl him off the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them, and went on his way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> 